Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dana. Thanks for watching. If you're new here before I get going, just consider subscribing below. It always helps my channel. And if you're not new here, welcome back. Thanks again for watching. So this is one of the first videos that I'm filming kind of post an announcement I made now probably a while back. So if you haven't watched that video kind of on the direction and change of my channel, go ahead and watch it. I will list it right here. But to like give you the rundown, I guess, I just wanted to make this channel a little bit more kind of consumer, anti-consumerism friendly, if that makes any sense. I think we've all kind of been feeling just like this influx of ads on every social media channel that you go to, just telling you to buy this, buying that, that like this is gonna be the perfect thing, this is gonna replace whatever you were using. And it just is so overwhelming. So I've been struggling how to kind of make my channel work and what do I want to do because it doesn't feel good promoting that consumerism. So part of my channel is about sunscreen and that is something that will remain because I do feel like that adds value to the world and it doesn't necessarily mean you need to buy every single thing that I talk about. And I'm going to do a better job of just reminding you like this is information, take it or leave it, but please don't necessarily feel like you have to buy every single thing. I know how hard that can be and I really want to kind of avoid that. So hopefully this helps and we'll kind of go with that moving forward and see how it goes. So like I said, we're gonna be still reviewing sunscreen on this channel. I look very big in this, I guess it is oversized, but I look bigger than I thought I did. So this is a new sunscreen by, I think pretty like an indie, that doesn't make sense. Like an indie-ish brand, although you can find it at Target. Target does a really good job of kind of promoting both indie brands, black owned brands, women owned brands. So I do love that about it. And I'm going to be testing it out for you. I've been wearing it quite a bit lately, so I already have some pretty fully formed thoughts on it, but yeah, let's jump in. Okay. So I wanted to remind you of my skin type and kind of like the concerns that I think of on a daily basis. Right now it's toward the end of summer. I say end of summer in quotes because in North Carolina that like it lasts. It's just like trickles forever. It can be almost November and still hot. So it's still hot here. Yesterday was blazing hot. My skin in the summertime is pretty hydrated and doesn't feel dry. I do tend to get oily in the T-zone. And then in the winter, I will have dry spots kind of around the edges of my face. So it's kind of interesting. I guess that makes sense. And then as far as kind of concerns for my skin, I have melasma. They pretty much are here and then some on my forehead. And that's just from years of being in the sun prior to wearing a lot of sunscreen. Also, I have pretty like dry under eyes and I get lots of wrinkles there. And then my forehead also has wrinkles, but I'm not too concerned. It's just, you know, those are the things that I focus on more. So, so you have an idea of what I look for when I'm looking at skincare or sunscreen. Let's go over the specs of this. So this is a SPF 50. It's also a mineral sunscreen, which is so cool. I just love seeing like, there's so many sunscreens that are, that have come out recently that I love and adore and they're just SPF 30. So when I saw that this was SPF 50, I was like, come to me, baby, come to me. <laughs> it is mineral sunscreen, like I said, non-nano 12% zinc oxide, and it retails for $28, which is a pretty affordable amount or price. I'm considering some of the higher mineral sunscreens are like $60. I'm thinking of Utacha and Ilia, all those things. So this is very middle of the road affordable. I would still call it affordable, especially because you can get it at Target. Just kind of easy, you know? It's also fragrance free. <laughs> we love to see it. So many people always ask me for fragrance free. And while I don't have any sensitivities to smell, it is something to consider. And this one is fragrance free, but I will say that there are extracts. Like I think there's even a um, rosemary extract, which can tend to have a scent, but I don't smell anything when I apply it. It also has an expiration date of 2024. I got it in July, no August, whatever. <laughs> so. I think I got it around August, but it says the expiration is 07, 2024. So two years, which is very good. What else should I tell you? So I'm just going to tell you right off the bat, there's no cast in this. This is a really fluid serum like sunscreen. And I've just had a pleasure using it and it just goes with everything. And depending on my skin tone, I think it's going to be interesting to see like in the summer, even though I wear sunscreen, my face is the darkest part or it's the darkest that it gets. So it'll be interesting to see what this looks like when my skin is a little bit lighter. 
The other thing about it that I think, no, I didn't mention, this is black owned and black woman owned. So that is so cool. I love to see it. Their website looks really cool. I didn't see any other products that I wanted to like run out and buy. And they're mostly skincare, but if you are interested, definitely check that out. Okay, quickly we'll go over some of the ingredients in it. It has tremella mushrooms. It's also got raspberry seed oil, jojoba oil, niacinamide, and rosemary. When I looked at the ingredient list, it looks spectacular. Very like clean beauty, but also really functional ingredients in there. So I don't have any concerns. But again, like if you do have sensitivities to something like a rosemary extract, be careful. I said it doesn't have a scent, but that doesn't mean that you might not still have some sensitization. Okay, we're going to apply now. They do say to shake pretty thoroughly. It's a hybrid formula and it says it's water resistant, although it says like 40 minutes. So I wouldn't consider this waterproof. If you are gonna be getting in water, definitely reapply it. But the interesting thing about when they say that it's a hybrid formula is they say that this is a quarter teaspoon, that's how much you're supposed to use. But they say to apply it to dry skin. But they also say you can use it over your moisturizer. So I think it kind of can vary but I think you'll maybe have the best kind of application if your skin is dry. So I'm gonna zoom you in, put it on my face. Okay, we got the quarter of a teaspoon and you can see, I don't know if you can see it here, yeah. It's got a tint, it's not clear by any stretch, but as you'll see when I start to apply it, it doesn't have an actual tint, it's very, very lightweight. So I wouldn't consider this like a tinted moisturizer or anything. so easy and that's a quarter of a teaspoon very easy to use on your face I said it's not a tinted moisturizer it's it's not it really kind of reminds me kind of just a smidge more than the Ilia C Beyond that one is so so thin that it really has no coverage this one I would say it has like sheer to light coverage and if you do put the correct amount which is a quarter of a teaspoon you will be getting a little bit more coverage but I don't think it's gonna be anything that's gonna be overwhelming if you don't like to wear makeup. I think it's gonna just kind of even out your skin tone and of course kind of alleviate any white cast that would be seen from the zinc oxide in it. So I'm gonna let it sit for about five minutes, which is what I like to do, and then I'll come back and talk through my thoughts about it. Okay, we're back. I don't think I've worn this alone. I usually wear it as like my sunscreen and then I put a little bit of concealer on over top and I am noticing, wow, it's got a glow to it. <laughs> Maybe it's also the lights, but I don't think that's true. So what are my thoughts on this sunscreen? I am thinking that it's going to run a little bit deeper than maybe like would fit all skin tones just because I can always tell when I look at my neck, my neck just doesn't get tan. So this is like my natural color and then you can see the difference between there and my face and it's got quite a bit of a tan. Now compared to the rest of my body it actually kind of goes nicely but I would say that if you're in the like fair to light this might be like a self tan or like quite a bit for you. So I don't think it's going to work for all skin tones. I think if you're like light medium to medium and then deeper it's gonna work really nicely for you. It does have a little bit of a warmer undertone than maybe like a neutral, but I think, especially because it is more of a fluid kind of texture, that you're gonna find it a little bit easier to kind of match with different skin tones. But I can't speak for all skin tones, of course. I am just seeing that it's a lot darker. Now, the thing about it that I've, how I've worn it, is I put it on, I love that it gives kind of that, almost like skin tint, but not super full coverage skin tint, if you know what I mean. And then I love to just go in and color correct, or not color correct, but kind of like use concealer to brighten, maybe under my eyes, in the T-zone, that kind of thing. And I think it looks really beautiful and it kind of operates almost like a very, very sheer skin tint and then sunscreen in one. So that works really well for me. A little bit of powder will kind of take down the shine, but if you do like this kind of glowy look, of course then you could just wear it alone. 
What I also like about this is that it's not super tacky. Like it's gonna move a little. I can touch, or when I touch my face, it's not dried down, it hasn't set, but it doesn't feel like it's gonna just be like in my face, like sticking to everything all day. But I do recommend maybe just a bit of powder if you're really like wanting it to stay a little bit more. So can you get away with wearing this alone? Absolutely, unless you have super dry skin. If you have super dry skin, you might need your moisturizer on underneath. But for people that have like maybe more combo to like normal or especially oily, you could probably use this alone and you wouldn't necessarily need anything. But of course it kind of depends on your skin type. And I would always just recommend like trying it out and maybe you need more, maybe you need less, whatever, that kind of thing. It's pretty nice. I mean, I would say like if you're looking for something with a high SPF and you're definitely in like the medium or like light medium skin tones and up, then it's gonna be really great. I just worry that it's gonna be a little too dark if you're in the lighter skin tones. I love that it's $28, that's so great, SPF 50. And it does really look like I have like almost like a, a liquid highlighter on, even when I'm looking in the mirror and not under the bright lights, so. Done really well. Now, what I would love to see is this brand come out with something similar, but maybe a little bit less shiny and maybe a little bit different of a shade so that more people could use it. Because again, like just seeing my neck and my face, I do worry that some people are just not gonna be able to use it. It's gonna be too dark. So I think they have a really great base and I think that they could do so much for so many people and just kind of build upon this. Like I said in the beginning of the video, just because I've said all these things does not mean you should go out and buy this. Just take it as like a piece of information. Maybe you like put a little list down, like when I run out of sunscreens, do I wanna pick up this? I don't want you guys to feel the need to spend and spend and spend. I'm trying to do that for you, even though I hate it myself. <laughs> and that way you have the information, you know what it looks like. Hopefully you get your questions answered and you don't buy it unless you really need it. So I will leave it there. I hope you enjoyed this kind of new style and let me know below what you think of it, if you have any questions, and I will see you guys in the next video.